Working with Templates, Section 3. In this section, we're going to look at the Jinja Template Inheritance Logic and how to use this logic to create what's called a base template. By using this base template, we're able to create child templates that can use this template to create more templates for the application. And we'll also be exploring how you can pass data to the view using props and then how you can also access data using the request and response objects. So let's go into the code and create some of these templates. Create what's called a base template. So here in Visual Studio Code, I have a templates folder here in the includes folder. We have two templates here to footer in the navigation. In the main index file, as you can see, we can actually create this into a base template. Out of this base template, then we can change this index into a child template or the base template. So to do that is basically you can pick and choose some of the common features or common elements in this template and then we can extract those elements out into a base template. So let's do that by creating a file over here in the templates folder and we'll call this file. You can call it base, you can call it layout. I will call my layout, which is very similar to how Visual Studio uses its own layout system, but anything is fine. So this is the layout or the base template here. Now I'm going to go into the index file and look at this file and I can see that from the top from line one all the way down to the navigation, everything here will be similar on every single page after that. So if you create the login page, the courses page and registration page and so on, they're going to have something very similar on the top. So I'm going to copy this out. Well, I'm going to cut it out and paste it into the layout template here. And then at the bottom is also just the footer. So let's go back to the index file. And again, these three lines will be identical across all sites. So let's cut that out and paste it to the bottom. Okay, so now what is different is going to be just inside here between the navigations and the footer. So here then, to make this work so that when we run the index file, okay, it's going to inherit everything inside the layout template plus what's available here. Okay, so I want to make sure this is the correctly, it's not correctly aligned, it looks a little bit weird, but I'm missing something, I think. I'm missing a tag, let's see. Because I have this div here and I'm missing div down here, so I need to remove this. Too many here. And put that over here because I have too many. Okay, so. And I think our navigation does not include a div. Let's we'll see if that's right. If it's not, we can fix it later. So that means here is our navigation, and then here is the main body of our document. And this part, as you can see, it was placed right in there. So that means this content is unique for every page. So to do that, then we're going to create a block called content. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. It's typically called content in here. And then inside this content, we also want to put a ending, a closing block called end block. Okay. So now inside here then is where we render the content uniquely for each page. And let's save this. And then back in the index file, now we want to inherit this layout page. So on the top here, we want to issue the command that says extends the layout. And you put it in the string quotation marks. Layout.html as the base template. Okay, once you do that, then the Jinja engine will know that this is going to load this base template called layout. And inside the layout, it's going to call, look inside the content. So we need to put the content here again, so block content. Now that content keyword must match the content keyword in the base template. And then we'll close it down here and block. Okay, so now. As you can see, it's going to look inside the base template layout for a block content or variable called content. And then it's going to inject all of these inside here 
to this template area here. Okay, so that means it's going to inherit everything here from line 1 all the way down to line 25, plus where it's going to be rendered inside line 18 here, which is the index content here. Okay, so let's save this file for now, and let's save both of them, and go ahead and run this file. Let's go into the command line here. I want to activate my virtual environment. And then go ahead and run. Hopefully there's no error. Okay, looks good. Okay, I'm going to go to the browser and refresh this page. Okay, so we've got some error. And block, I mistyped that one. So, well, that's it's easy to catch. Let's go back and fix that. So I end block. That's a mistype there. Save that. Go back to the browser and refresh. I still have more error. Do I not save it? Probably have it not a typo there somewhere. Okay, let's go and check it again. Save that. In the index, I might have a end block again down here. I wish that can correct itself, but guess not. Okay, save. And reload again. Okay, so you can see everything comes back just like normally before. Okay, it looks good. It's seamless. So that's how you create a base template and then use that base template as inheritance. Was it? Is it parent template for the child template? So now we can go back in here. We can create multiple templates as well. Eventually we will do that. But for now, I want to go over again. So this is the child template. The index is, and we need to extend the layout template, which is the base template up here on the top, and then in the body of this template here we need to issue a block command to match the content that is set inside the layout template so whatever we call here it must match inside the child template now you're not limited to just one thing here i could have multiple blocks inside this template i could have maybe this is the main content i could have another block in maybe on the right rail or maybe even in the footer or in the uh, navigation or anywhere else on the page is completely fine. Only thing is that you cannot have a duplicate content on the same page here. If you do that, it's a problem because it does not know where to render. And so there are other ways as well to render that if you want to. To do it, then you can do something like this. For example, I can put expression down here. And if I do this, say self dot content. If I call that, then it should render this content twice inside here. So by using this function method, you can do that multiple times, but you cannot use the block to render that in more than two places in the same template. So let's just see if this works here. I'm going to save this file, go back to the browser, and refresh this, and you see that this is rendered twice because this is the body of the index page. Okay, so kind of very useful. It's like the routing system for Vue.js if you're familiar with that. But that is quite powerful, and the only way you can do that is to use the self dot the variable name, use that as a function, and you can render that twice. Okay, so that's how you create a base template and child template.